All right, and the last part of painting. I have now completely painted the uh, figurine with the base colors and added already a few highlights here. You can see the different kind of veins and such popping. And on the, for example, the yellow waist belt, you can see darker tones in the midst of them. That's actually done with the, if you're using the Warhammer Citadel paints. Those are shade paints, which are basically water with ink pigment in them. Just water the parts that you want to be darker, and the dark water will go to the uh, engravements. <coughs> That's a very cool thing, but you can do that with acrylics too. Just water down a lot of a dark, very dark uh, brown, for example, in this case, and water down like a just. Uh, I would say about one seventh part of paint. Depending, of course, on your paint, different acrylics have different amount of pigments. But in my case, which uh, is just basic everyday acrylic paints, one seventh of the paint and uh, six parts of water, and you have your own shade color there. Just adding, like uh, last time I said, I have the dark base colors over the white spray paint. Then I have first highlight color, which is uh, medium dark. And then I have highlight, which goes over the medium light, uh, medium dark. And uh, then I might even have a second highlight color, which is even softer and uh, brighter. <laughs> Here starts actually the base. Uh, painting and the uh, foliage making for base I always uh, for uh, well this is actually not the best figurine to uh, talk about making the base I'm using again citadel paints has uh, actually it's a texture paint which has this gravel inside the paint and it creates this uh, well gravel mud based uh, uh, platform texture when it dries. You can make similar things by using very fine sand and mix that sand with your paint and you get somewhat similar. Just small rocks and such. Or gravel maybe, depending on the size of your figure, of course, and what you want for the ground to be. But I also have a lot of Drain stores have great foliage materials, which are basically just uh, already great looking grass, uh, plastic. Uh, what are those called? Uh, plastic uh, carpets of grass or something. You can just pull them apart and here, here you see them. So for everyday kids glue or white glue in some areas, just lather all the uh, and don't be uh, so exact with glue because the foliage will uh, you can uh, well the best way to add the foliage in my opinion is to add a lot of glue and then just press down the foliage and drop down some small parts of foliage in there and when it has dried you just turn it upside down or blow it just get rid of the, all the extra foliage and do this over some uh, paper or something so you can gather the foliage material back 
otherwise you will be wasting a lot of good foliage. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial or commentary video. Leave a like, dislike, comment and subscribe for more sculpting videos.